What's going on guys? Brandon here, Knitting Main Properties. We have your Livingston County September 2020 real estate market update. Let's jump right into this. Let's preface for three things. I've been doing this for five plus years now and we have always wanted to give you the most accurate updated information so that, that way you can make the best decision for you and your family. So Livingston County, September 2020, we have a month in arrears. All the numbers are finally in and finalized. And then we have three years of data that way you can see the trend. When the trend is your friend, one year data wouldn't make any sense. So, Days on market, jumping right in here, DOM. 44 days like two years ago, 48 last year, 42 this year. So we can see a decrease in days on market here. The Livingston does have some weird numbers sometimes, I will preface with that as well. Uh, they There aren't tons and tons of homes in this, in this market. So this is where you have to take the grain salt a little bit and you're gonna see some numbers that are you know, possibly interesting. Active homes in the market, 923 two years ago, 897 last year, 504 this year. Remember, this is a one day sample size though, so the, the date data was taken. How many homes were active at that time? A lot less here though, it was dang near half than it was two years ago, and we already had down years here. So, really kind of some interesting times we are heading into here. So, a month of inventory, we have four, somewhat of a balance market now, four. Three, two, uh, four, two years ago, three months of inventory last year, one this year. So just to give you context, one to three months is a seller's market, meaning there's not a ton of inventory and prices are up. Four to six months is a balanced market, and seven plus is a buyer's market, meaning there's lots of inventory and prices are coming down. So it gives you context, a really quick ratio to see what kind of market we're in. New homes in the market, this is a month-wide number. So how many new homes actively got listed that month? 427 two years ago, 444 last year, and 370 this year. So. Uh, down a little bit, don't like to see that. We're gonna have to continue to monitor that, obviously. We're, just, we're really hemorrhaging homes in this market, so obviously that's why it's a great time to sell your house if you can and get equity in it. Price per square foot, $142 a square foot two years ago, $155 last year, $166 this year. So this is a countywide number, though. Remember, if you need a professional, you need a professional to come give you an actual evaluation on your, on your home, on your home, if I could speak. So you need someone on our team, you need an appraiser, someone to come actually that's been in the trenches that has sold hundreds and hundreds of homes that can actually give you an accurate assessment because this is a countywide number. More importantly, what we're showing here is the trend of your county and which way things are going, what kind of equity you may have in your house. Multiply that by your square footage, you're going to get an approximation on the value of your home. Sold, number of people actually sitting on a closing table signing and closing on a home. 241 two years ago, 258 last year, and 348 this year. We're seeing this across the board in Metro Detroit. All these homes that were hitting the market in the last few months are it's all starting to finally kind of close. Not kind of, they all are, all are starting to close and we've seen this over the last few months, just a bigger flood of homes being sold. And that should probably come back down here as we're seeing across the board lower numbers on the market now going forward and potential lockdowns coming again. I would imagine that's gonna dip again. So gotta be nimble, gotta be able to adapt. That is the Livingston County Market Update, guys. Like I said, we appreciate your time, your attention, your energy. If you are on the podcast, go to at Knit and Made Properties on Facebook or YouTube. Please check us out there. If you need someone to give you a valuation in your home, please let us know and reach out to us. And again, our time, your, our attention, it's the most important asset we have, along with your mind. That's what we're doing here, we're sharpening our mind. So those two things, time and your mind. Take care of them, feed them every day. We'll see you guys in the next one.